Hello, my friends. Today we will have new lesson about beautiful element. For this motif, I will use my favorite thread, Italian Visco Sapphire Lux, for different colors. And also, I want to say that today we have interesting information. You can order kit like this, exactly all these colors, by using link below this video. So we have here four different colors. It's a golden beige, also green, and this one light gold. And this one is like lemon or something like this. It's green, very intensive, bright green. So we have four, four colors. You can order them and you will get gifts, crochet hook, samples of elements, colored schemes, and you will get very beautiful package. I'm sure you will love it. And with big pleasure, you will work with this threads, with crochet hook as, and with our schemes. So this offer is available for you. Just use link below this video. Also, these threads you can find at JD House Yarn Store. The link to this store you will find below this video. It's jdhouse.net slash store. As there we have I think around 40 different colors of this thread and also we have seen Italian viscos also incredibly beautiful thread and another yarns you will find there. Today we are, we are making motif Dion. I love to use these elements for my projects and this element is not so easy but together with me be sure that you will make it. So I will use crochet hook 1.7 millimeters and we will start from the most bright thread so let's start. First part in first color will be very small. We should make 8 chain loops, join them to the ring by slip stitch. Next, 2 chain loops to move up and after we will make single crochet stitches around. In the end, we should join to the second chain loop by making slip stitch. And here I want to cut the thread because after we will have second color and this will be light gold number 2838. And the first one is... 206 number of this color is okay so let's make 18 loops and join join them to the ring make everything accurate and yes you can make it slow without knots i like to start so first i will make 18 loops 4 5 6 7 8 we have 18 loops now insert hook to the first chain and make a slip stitch after take these two threads yarn over and draw them to the right side. So we have like first chain loop ready for first row, now one more. In total we have two chain loops and now I will make single crochet stitches just around this ring. First, second, third and work like this. In total we should make, let's see, I will tell you right now, 15 single crochet stitches. So. In the same way continue to make them insert hook like this and make single crochet just around this chain 15 stitches around and now uh, let's finish to make this first row i have 15 single crochet stitches and join to the second chain loop that we made in the beginning of first row just insert hook below this two threads and make slip stitch yes draw threads through this uh, loop and also working loop and we have beautiful circle i will make one more chain loop and now i want to cut the thread because after we will have second row let's check this information okay also i see that some samples i just try a few times i made second row also so we can continue our work we can make this small row with arches by using the same color yes it's it's great and after for this petals i will use a light gold thread so now we should make four chain loops we will skip one stitch below next single crochet again four chain loops single crochet four chain loops in such way we will prepare eight arches and we will finish by slip stitch here just don't forget to skip all the time one stitch below each arch so from here i have one chain so we should make three more three and four chain loops we have now skip one stitch yes below and make single crochet like this insert hook below two threads again one two three four chain loops skip one stitch and next insert hook below two threads make single crochet and like this continue to work and we should get eight arches in the end and now we have seven arches the last one again 
uh, four chain loops yes three four and joining here at the beginning we should make a slip stitch yes in such way we finish it to make arches now one more chain loop cut the thread leave tail around 20 centimeters and fix the thread now we have eight arches and beginning of our beautiful element and next i will use light gold thread so let's join this thread just you should join this yarn in another point not here because here we have two tails to hide we should join somewhere here and in such way you will get a more accurate element so just take new color and now we will start to make petals beautiful color light gold also leaf tail around 20 centimeters and now i will join here where we have this uh, single crochet stitch between arches so i think below we can insert this hook and make first yes like this and after one more single crochet around this arch and now i will move this tail to the right side so i fix it the thread after uh, we will work around each arch we have first single crochet next i should make two double crochet stitches around the same arch so first one after second one stitch you see we have now three stitches now two times yarn over and make treble crochet stitch around the same arch now pick off from four chain loops so we should make four chain loops insert hook below these two threads at the front side yarn over and draw through these two threads and this working loop we have pico now symmetrically i will make the same stitches just at the other side of this petal start from the most yes from the uh, treble crochet stitch is the biggest one and after two double crochet stitches step by step around the same arch and the last will be single crochet stitch the smallest one and after we should fix our petal so i will go around this single crochet of previous row so insert hook here below this stitch and make single crochet stitch like this around yes after again start to make second petal the same scheme we have first single crochet after two double crochet stitches next treble crochet stitch with two times yarn over and after picot from four chain loops one two three four insert hook below these two threads and finish to make picot after second half of this petal treble crochet two times double crochet stitches and one single crochet and again below this stage of previous row make single crochet in such way we should continue our work and i will make the same petals around in the end we will get eight petals and beautiful small flower so let's continue our work next i will show you how to finish this row and we will talk about next one so i finish to make petal number eight now when you finish to make the last single crochet just we should make slip stitch in the beginning of this first petal just insert hook below two threads and make a slip stitch like this yarn over and draw through this working loop also and one more chain and now cut the thread and fix the yarn we will change color that's why i cut the thread because i want to create really gorgeous element and i want to show you this all also we will hide tails i will explain how to hide tails in different color and now we will use third color this one green olive and number is 613 now let's join green olive thread also don't forget to leave tail and each time try to join thread in another place here we have tails also at this point so we can join for example here we don't have here any tails so below these two threads were uh, in this one single crochet stitch let's see closer i will try to show you let's see so we have here single crochet stitch and yes this one and insert hook below two threads yarn take the yarn and leave tail around 20 centimeters pull this yarn here we have like now this one loop on the hook two threads yes here yarn over and draw to this 
working loop through this working loop and we have tail at the right side next make this working loop smaller so we fix it a new thread now we should make first stage so in total we have here like yes a past stage treble crochet and uh, in the beginning we should make something close to this stage yes similar uh, so i will make like this switching loops to move up next i will make few long loops and create bubble and after three and three so this will be in total 16 loops i will continue my work and next single crochet to the middle of picot after switching loops and after we will make this puff stitch treble crochet here to this single crochet of previous row so now we should make switching loops to move up we have switching loops yarn over insert to this starting point yarn over make a long loop yarn over go to the same point yarn over make a long loop now we should join all these loops that we have on the crochet hook now we have only one loop on the hook now now i will make six chain loops but not too tight yes normal three chain loops and three more now join to this picot in the middle yes insert hook and make single crochet stitch and we have such result now we will make switching loops puff stitch and switching loops what is the main we should make the right size of this stitch to get beautiful circle what i mean we have circle it should be very beautiful it cannot be like this yes wave this stitch should be on the same level like this picots so it should be not too tight yes switching loops not too tight not too loose like this after two times yarn over make place this two threads close to the top of the hook insert your hook to this single crochet of previous rows that we have between petals yarn over make a loop again yarn over insert to the same point yarn over make a loop and the same once again now we have how many <laughs> let's see one two we have eight loops on the hook in total yarn over draw through six loops on your hook now we have three loops on the hook yarn over draw through two loops now we have two yarn over and draw through two loops now switching loops and join to the next picot just insert hook to this picot and make single crochet now check by fingers the size of this stitch is okay or maybe it's too small or maybe it's too loose if you don't like it you can make it once again it's okay uh, if you will try a few times you will understand what uh, yes um, tension of thread you should have what size of stitch you need to create so just try a few times and everything will be okay you will uh, fi find your style of crocheting yes and uh, you will create beautiful uh, row with puff stitches so now again the same switching loops two times yarn over here in the middle i will make bubble so three times pull out this long threads after you will have eight loops on the hook yarn over draw through six loops now we have three loops on the hook yarn over draw through two and two now switching loops and join to the middle of this picot make single crochet stitch and in such way i will continue my work just we should get beautiful circle yes be careful and after i will show you how to finish this row and we will talk about next row uh, you can see I finished to make these puff stitches. Now I need to make uh, the last chain loops. So we should make three chain loops and joining to the chain that we made in the beginning. So one, two, three chain loops. Now from here we should join to the third chain. One, two, three. Below two threads, insert hook and make a slip stitch. For next row I will use the same thread, the same color. So I don't need to cut the yarn so let's start next row is very difficult here so i will show you uh, slowly everything so uh, we finish it here um, this red uh, row and we have here slip stitch after two chain loops to move up three single crochet around this arch one stitch single crochet to the stage of previous row after three treble crochet stitches starting from one point and also join it at the top point 
Next, three chain loops to move up, and this the longest stitch with four times yarn over. Next, to this long stitch, we will join three treble crochet stitches. We starting from one point, and also we will join them at the top point. So this will be, will be a, like cluster, yes, each time. And again, three chain loops to move up. Again, long stitch and three stitches treble crochet like a cluster. After four chain loops to move up and at the top we have double treble crochet stitches in total four stitches starting from one point also join it at the top point and pick off from five chain loops after symmetrically we will make clusters and after join here below just where we have this pico and single crochet stitches in previous row we will make joining and continue to make this single crochet stitches so now let's make two chain loops to move up one two we have them after around this first arch make three single crochet stitches one two and three stitches next to the stitch of previous row below two threads make one more single crochet stitch now we should make three treble crochet stitches join it at the top point and we should start them at this point where we have puff stitch so two times yarn over insert hook below two threads and make first treble crochet stitch again two times yarn over and make second stitch don't finish it two times yarn over to the same point insert crochet hook and make third stitch now we have four loops on the hook and we, we should join them yarn over and draw through all these loops now we will make three chain loops to move up one two three four times yarn over just place this all loops very close to the top of the hook and we will start from this point where we have this cluster first thread we should make a little bit longer yarn over and draw through two loops yarn over and draw through two two again two and now we should make uh, don't finish the stitch we should make three treble crochet stitches just we will skip this first long yes part and we should insert our hook to the second part where we draw thread through two working two loops yes so don't touch this um, bottom part of long stitch insert hook here yes above yes about this part below two threads start to make first treble crochet stitch don't finish it again two times yarn over insert hook to the same point and make again treble crochet stitch and don't finish it and once again the same make treble crochet stitch to the same point and don't finish it now we have five loops on the hook yarn over and draw through all these loops at once now we should make three chain loops to move up again four times yarn over and place this all loops very close to the top of the hook and insert hook to this point where we have cluster and again make this first thread uh, just pull out a little bit longer yarn over and draw through two loops on your hook again through two 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 and don't finish it leave two loops on your hook and after make two times yarn over don't touch this first longer part of this long stitch just insert hook here yes after this long part below two threads and make treble crochet stitch and again don't finish it again two times yarn over make second treble crochet stitch and don't finish this stitch and the last time two times yarn over make third stitch don't finish it and now we have five loops on the hook yarn over and join them in such way we made three beautiful leaves and now we will work in the middle so for this we should make a little bit loose four chain loops one two three and four make them a little bit loose and after uh, four uh, how many three times yarn over so let's make cluster from four stitches one two three three times yarn over insert hook to this point where we have cluster and start to make first stitch again don't finish this stitch three times yarn over and make second stitch
stitch. Again, three times yarn over and make the next one. Three times yarn over and make the last one. In total, four double treble crochet stitches. Don't finish them. And now we have five loops on the hook, yarn over and join all these loops. Now let's make picot from five chain loops. Three, four, five. And insert hook below all these threads. And draw threads below these all threads. I will show you closer right now. Draw through these loops, yes, and after through this working loop also. In such way, we finish it to make pico from five chain loops. So we have half of this beautiful twig. Now we will work at the other side. Also, I want to tell you that a scheme for this element you will find in our free crochet patterns group. Just you can download this scheme for free. You can print out scheme. Uh, we have a beautiful color scheme and you can watch this video tutorial and you can make together with me this element. A link to this free crochet patterns group you will find below this video. So just join to our group and use a lot of tutorials for free. And also you will be able to watch video tutorials and you will be able to download schemes. Everything for free. And uh, yes, I think this is really great. I wish you, yes, beautiful results. Now let's work. We have 14 loops now two times yarn over to this point where we have clusters. Again, we will make one more cluster. At this side, we will make four treble crochet stitches. Don't finish them, just each time make like this, leave loop this one. Again, two times yarn over, third stitch, don't finish it, and the last one. Two times yarn over and make the last stitch. So we have four stitches and five loops on the hook, yarn over and join this all loops. Now one, two, three chain loops, two times yarn over, and to this point, I will make also Four treble crochet stitches, don't finish them, just, yes, continue your work, like this. Three stitches and one more. Make four treble crochet stitches to one point, don't finish them, and now I have five loops on the hook, yarn over and draw through all these loops. Now one, two, three chain loops, and we will make the last cluster in this first tweak. So the last uh, will be smaller, to this point, I will make three treble crochet stitches. So we have first one, don't finish it. Two times yarn over second stitch to the same point. Don't finish the stitch. And third time the same. Make third stitch. Uh, don't finish each stitch. Now I have four loops on the hook. Yarn over and draw thread through all these loops. After we should join to this single crochet of previous row. Insert hook below two threads and just make single crochet stitch. In such simple way we made the really difficult part. We have here seven leaves and be careful just I know this part is not so easy and uh, I hope you will make it by using this video tutorial and color it scheme. Now I need to make three single crochet around next arch. One, two and three and one a single crochet to this puff stitch so below two threads make single crochet and again three single crochet stitches around next arch and stitch number four to this one of previous row yes single crochet and this will be our distance between twigs after again we should make twig like this I will repeat the same the same system the same scheme and we will have again twig like this with seven leaves okay so I will continue my work and uh, this is all information for part number one about making motif Dion and second part uh, I will make for you. You will clearly see how to make this element, how to finish this row and how to make uh, last row with puff stitches and picots. And also don't forget to visit our free crochet patterns group. There you will uh, see a scheme. You will be able to download this scheme. A link you will find below this video. Also, I want to say that I am making live workshops each month. And uh, this all workshops I am making on JT House Patreon page. So you can join and you will be able to watch live workshops 
uh, yes, about uh, new crochet courses. Right now we are making summer top mermaid. Also, very soon we will make a suit. Uh, yes, this will be skirt, very beautiful with transition of colors. I will make them from Italian viscose. And also, uh, we just almost finished wedding dress grace. Uh, so you can watch additional video about this. And uh, a lot of new crochet courses I plan to make. I have, um, yes, a lot of um, schemes and instructions step by step. I am preparing lessons and I am making live workshops. Uh, right now we have there 46 uh, friends, yes, subscribers. So uh, we can talk at the live chat. So I will be very happy to see you there. You can uh, join to our Patreon club by using link below this video. Will be nice. And also if you want to get information about our main crochet courses you can visit our website main website jtyhouse.net and you can find link below this video also threads like this you can order by using link below this video directly this kit are waiting for you with uh, yes beautiful surprises you will get samples of interesting elements also colored schemes uh, also i will send you my favorite crochet hook 1.7 millimeters and flower talisman it's really a perfect element i think it has a beautiful shape five petals so this all are waiting for you just uh, use all uh, information below this video i am sure you will find special crochet courses for yourself i will be happy to see you at jt house patreon page and thank you so much for watching first part of a video about motif dion and uh, yes don't forget to watch second part where i will show you how to finish this element how to hide all tails how to iron and stretch this element and we will see this really gorgeous result thank you so much for watching this video i wish you big inspiration amazing results and uh, stay safe bye bye for now